welcome. This is a next day of percent. Fraction decimal percent equivalency. Um, the previous lesson was more representing it. Now, now we're actually going to talk about equivalency. Write at least three rational numbers you know about this picture. So this is a 10 by 10 grid. What can I say about this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. I could say six out of a hundred are shaded, or that's six hundreds or six percent. How many are unshaded then? Ninety-four hundreds are unshaded, or ninety-four hundreds or ninety-four percent. So what you're going to do today is you're going to be finding your musketeer. You will be given a fraction, a picture model, a decimal, a percent, and you're going to walk around the classroom and look for your musketeer. Why are and then you're going to prove to me why are you equivalent? So you will prove to me why you are equivalent. For example, just pretending you got a model like um, this one. You would walk around the classroom and say, who has six eight? And you're going to quickly realize there's nobody in the room has six eight, because someone's going to say you didn't simplify it. Then you'll say, "Fine, who has three four? So this is the equivalent to three four. Then you two will walk around the classroom looking for who has three four. Then maybe someone will say, "Oh, three divided by four, because the numerator always goes to the side of the bar." It goes in seven times. 30 minus 28 is 2, and it's a 0. It's 4 goes 1. It's 7,500. So you'll find someone who has 7,500. Then someone's going to say, well, what percent are we? Well, first of all, this is more than half is shaded. So you're looking for a number that's more than 50%. Well, someone hopefully will say, oh, 7,500 is like a percent. You just move the decimal field. So it's 75%. Or someone's going to remember that a percent means something per 100. How do you build this fraction to 100 times 25 times 25? It's 7,500 or 75%. And that's how you prove they're all equivalent. So here's a video, a very strange video. Let me turn the volume so everybody can hear it. This is a Brazilian show. It is on Netflix. I believe it's called 3%. So there are two worlds, those who live on Earth and those who live in the promised land called the offshore. Only 3% goes to the perfect world of offshore. How do you write this rational number as a percent fraction and decimal? If I was given a 10 by 10 grid like this, 3%. How would you shade this in? I would shade in three of these. So what fraction is that? Three out of a hundred. And how would you say that as a decimal? Three, whoops, three hundred. And these are all equivalent. Three hundred, three hundred, three percent all means the same thing. Again, percent is anything per a hundred. So what's out of a hundred? Three. James Harden averages 44% shooting from the field goal. In basketball, the term field goal refers to a basket scored or any shot or tap other than a free throw worth two or three points depending on the distance of the attempt from the basket. My percent is 99%. You know, I am, after all, human after all. So what if I shot these four different shots, made these four different field goal shots? 
we, you are also going to be doing this during class, but you know what? This is about me, so let's see what about me. So before I do three, I'm going to look at these three four. How do you build this? So there's many ways. I'm going to know my percent. Would you like to turn this to a decimal by dividing 9 divided by 25? That's one way you could do it. If I do 9 divided by 25, it can 25 go 9? Zero times. And it's 0. How many 25 go to 90? 3 times, which is 75. That's 90 minus 75 is 15. And it's another 0. How many 25s go in 150? 6 times. So my decimal is 0 and 3600 or 36%. Is there a faster way to find a percentage? Again, a percent means anything per 100. How do you build this to 100 times 4? That's my percent. What about the next one? What if I shot 4 fifths? 4 divided by 5 is 0 and 8 tenths. So four fifth eight tenth. But what percent would this be? If I annex a zero, that's eighty percent. That means I shoot more than half. So eighty percent. Again, how do I build this to a hundred percent times ten? Eighty hundred. How do I build five to a hundred times twenty? Eighty hundred or eighty percent. Let's get to the hardest one. This is the one that people get stuck on. Three eight. 3 divided by 8, it goes in, so I'm going to write out the pattern for 8, 8, 16, 24, 32, uh, 40, 48, 56, can 8 go in 3, 0 times, can 8 go in 30, 3 times, which is 24, 30 minus 24 is 6, annex a 0, which one of these is closest to 60, 56, which is 7 times, 60 minus 56 is 4, and x is 0, 8 going 40, 5 times. So my decimal is 0 and 375 thousandths. So what percent is that? Let's think about our grid right here. If I shade in 3700 and I have to shade it in a half of this, that would be 37.5%. Let's think of estimate. If I cover this up right here, this 5 right here, up, what percent would that be? 3,700 is 37%. This n 0 and 3,800 is 38%. So if I put a 5 right here, it's halfway between 37 and 38. That's why it's 37 and a half. Another way to do it is this way. Some people may have to do it this way. I know a percent means anything per 100. How can I simplify this? If I divide by 2, it would be 1.5 over 4. How do you build a 4 to 100 times 25 times 25? So 1.5 times 25 is 37.5 hundred, or 37.5%. So... After that, we are going to be just practicing some questions during class once if you finish early. So if someone in Michigan, the number of people 65 and older are 1,300 of the population, how would you write that as a fraction? Well, this is what place size? Hundreds, 1,300. And what percent is that? 13%. In a recent survey, Jeremy Lin of the Brooklyn Nets had a free throw average of 7 tenths, rounded to the nearest tenth. Complete the table. So here's the decimal. And how would you write this as a fraction? 7 tenths. And what percent would this be? Please do not say 7. 7% seven is 7 out of 100. If you look at, uh, if you draw a 10 by 10 grid, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and you get a shade in 7 of the 10 column, is that more than half? It's 70%. Annex a zero so you can see a little better. And then last but not least, according to the U.S. Census, 76% of U.S. workers commute to work by driving alone. That is 76%.
how would you write that as a decimal and a fraction? Well, percent means per or out of 100. And how would you write 7,600 as a decimal? That's as a decimal. And the last one is probably the hardest. Larry sold 124% of his cell goal, model this. So if I shade in all of this, this is 100%. That's the whole thing. Then I shade in 24. So that's 124%. Did I shade in this whole section? That's one whole. Oh, and 2,400. Or I can shade it, I shade it in one whole. And what fraction is this? 2,400, which is equivalent to 1 and 2,400. And so that is practicing equivalency.